Hi, my name is Robert Santana. I want to invite you to stay up to date on the latest styles and techniques in the industry. So right now, what we're going to be doing is styling holiday hair. When creating holiday hair, sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming because of the amount of volume. The best approach that I find to holiday hair or any type of styling is dividing the hair and creating the sections while creating a blueprint or mapping out exactly what it is or your target. When I looked at this canvas, what I'm thinking is braids are very trending right now and we can all agree that that's something that is really fast and effective, yet we want to create something a little bit more organic. So to start off, you will need a three row brush, a cushion brush, and sectioning clips. Starting off at the top, you always want to divide depending on the area in which your client or your model sections off for hair. In this case, we're going to be sectioning the hair off asymmetrically off to the left hand side. So you want to start off by using the reference point of the corner of the eye and the corner of the eye on the other side. So using the tail of this brush and just going all the way up to the top. And you want to go to the high point of the head. And a lot of times, head shapes, we all know they can be a little bit different. So you just want to place the brush ever so lightly. And where it starts to spin off from the top of the head is where you know the top of the head lays. So just bringing everything straight up from the top and then just repeating on the opposite side, ensuring that you're working off all the way to the corner of the eyebrow on this side and on this side. Now, working off to the side, the idea and the objective is to take the hair off again asymmetrically keeping in mind that we're going to have a braid on this side. So I'm going to position her off on the angle, starting off from the side, considering that you're going to place the braid, taking your brush as your guideline and just spinning it and placing right on the plane of the head and just using that and anchoring all the way off to the side in a crisscross method, almost like creating an X in the back of the head and just sectioning everything over very simply and just dividing out all of that hair so now that automatically makes it a lot more simplistic when we're creating the style. As you already know, my, one of my favorite go-to products is Texture Builder Spray because it's going to give the hair a little bit more grip and grip at the same time it's working and it's not going to make the hair tacky. The great thing is standing at arm's length, always at a distance, spraying the product just to incorporate the texture and now we're ready to start braiding the side. Simple three-way braiding, just take the hair, sectioning it off, going on an angle, just splitting it with your finger and just placing the hair right in, subsectioning the hair again with your fingers. And it's about really thinking about a decompressed braid and not overthinking the braid. So a three-row braid, just going your way from one side to the next, just taking hair from one side and continue repeating on the other side and just grabbing as you go along and the objective is not to have a really tight braid on the head because you want to have the braid living, organic, simple, and soft. And if you notice, there's very minimum tension. The idea here is less is more because you want to create traction. And when you're done, the objective would be to loosen these up.